Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to put it all together. So here we have a rather complex rational expression, or I shouldn't say radical, rational, but radical expression. And so how do we deal with that? Well, we follow a set of rules. Whenever we have both the numerator and the denominator underneath the radical, we like to separate that. So we start out by writing it as follows. The square root of 48x squared divided by the square root of 7 y cubed. Over here we do the same thing. We write this as the square root of 32x squared divided by the square root of 3y cubed. Now when we take a look at it, notice that both here and here the square root of x squared simply becomes x. But how do we deal with 32 and 48? Likewise here we have a y cubed and a y cubed so what we could do is we get at least rid of a y squared, so let's write it as follows. This can be written as the square root of, 32 can be written as 2 times 16 times x squared, divided by the square root of 3 y squared times y. So we know that the square root of 16 is 4, the square root of x squared is x, and the square root of y squared is simply y. So this can now be written as 4 times x, and what we have left is the square root of 2 divided by, here we can pull out a y, and we have left the square root of 3y. The only thing left to do now is to rationalize the denominator, because we don't like that radical there, so we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 3y, like this. And then this can then be written as 4x times the square root of 2 times 3y, which is 6y, divided by, in the denominator, the square root of 3y times the square root of 3y is simply 3y. So we have 3y times y becomes y squared. And so this would be the final format of that expression. Going back over here, doing the same thing, this can be written as the square root of 3 times 16 times x squared divided by the square root of 7 times y squared times y. And in the very same way, we can pull out a 16 because that's the square root of 16 is 4, the square root of x squared is x, and the square root of y squared is y. So this can now be written as 4 times x divided by y times the square root of 3 in the numerator, and in the denominator we have the square root of 7y left. Notice we have the 3 in the numerator, the 7 and the y in the denominator, but the square root of y squared becomes y, the square root of 16 is 4, and the square root of x squared is x. Now again, we cannot leave it like that, we have to rationalize the denominator. So we have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 7y. So in the denominator, well, let's first do the numerator, we get 4x times the square root of 3 times 7, which is 21 times y, divided by the square root of 7y times the square root of 7y is simply 7y. So we write 7y and multiply times this y gives us y squared. And there's the final form of that particular expression. And that's how we use the methodologies to solve something a little bit more complex than that. That's how it's done.